Hi, in this video, I will show you how to assign a record to a particular queue. So this is my Dynamics record. It's an account record. So the plan is whenever an account is created, I need to assign to a particular queue. So the queue name here I'm going to use is called request. Okay, so let's go back to Power Automate and I need to use the common data service. There are two connectors. So the preferred one is the current environment. So I'm going to use that and the trigger, I'm, trigger I'm, going to, I'm going to use here is called the when a record is created. So the trigger condition is create. Entity name is called accounts. And the scope I'm going to use is organization. I don't need to set any of the other attributes here. Okay, the next step I'm going to use to filter the QID because we need to assign that QID to the Q item. That's the plan. So for that, I'm going to use a variable and that's called initialize variable and just call it as QID. Just rename the initialize variable to QID as well. Just make it more meaningful and the type it's called st string. And here, if you want, you can rename this to when a record is created hyphen account okay next I'm going to filter the queue names so again I'm going to use the same connector common data service the dataverse formerly known as CDS uh, current environment connector and this time I need to use the list records okay so under the list records I am after the queues The next thing I need to use is the filter query actually. That is name is equal to, as I mentioned earlier, I'm after the request queue actually. The next step I need to use, I need to set the variable. So variable, set variable, QID, and I'm going to look the queue unique identifier of the queue. So that's the ID. That's the guild of that record. And this is the one we need to use later on when we are going to create the queue item in the next step. As you can see here, there is an apply to each loop. That's by default Power Automate will put it because we are filtering against filtering the list records. So it can return more than one record. So in this instance, we know that it's going to be only, rec only returning one record. So I'm going to assigning that record to the set variable. Okay. We can rename this as well. List record uh, queue request. There we go. So that's done. And the final step we need to use here is the a record we need to assign that to the particular queue so again same similar um, connector now in this instance i need to use create a new record so just going to rename that create a uh, okay create queue item um, let's do that account record and the queue name is request. Just some documentation. It's good for documentations actually uh, for the action steps. The next uh, step is select the entity name, which is the queue items. Okay, so once we set the queue items, then you can see here we need to assign to a particular queue, and the queue name we already found out from the ID. So the technique we need to use here is we need to use queues two brackets inside we need to assign that value QID okay the next the entity we want to assign to so that is the regarding ID so that means under the queue you can have any sort of records so here in this instance we are looking to create an account assigning to that particular queue so we are looking the object accounts here it is so here it's again it's a plural name of the entity which is the accounts same as the queues we used earlier two brackets and inside the bracket we are looking the account ID coming from the trigger 
so that the here it is account unique and in the fair of the account here it is so let's save the record also one more thing you need to remember is if you can't if you can't see the object ids here that means you haven't enabled the queue options under the configuration of the entity record so you need to go to go and customize that uh, record from your solution the select the entity so in this is instance if it is account record double click on the entity you can see an option called enable queues so just select the checkbox then if you come back to the power automate you should be able to see that options here okay so our flow is ready to run now so let's go back and just uh, now next we need to create an account record so here i'm going to create x y z just a random some values here doesn't matter what name you are going to use i'm going to save the record now okay the record is saving now okay looks like the record is saved let's go back to power automate refresh okay one second ago that's been triggered so if i open the record Okay, it's successfully created those records here. You can see here the right IDs has been set. And under the apply to each loop, you only got one QID as well. So if I go back to the record and um, look for the, the Q item details, it should show me request. Here it is. So this is the way we can assign a record to a particular queue using Power Automate. So let's go back to Power Automate and let's review what we did so we set the trigger the next thing we assign a variable and the next step we filtered the queue name using name is equal to request because request is is my queue name and under the loop i'm setting the queue id the give it value and finally i'm creating the queue item under the queue item i'm assigning the queue id and the regarding id the regarding id is in this instance is account so this is a way we use to assign a record to a particular queue using power automate thank you for watching